All right, so we created a form and then we created a model that was going to hold information from that form. And then we bound the form to the model by using these little ASP4 tags. Now I wanna point something out as we do this. Let me run this app real quick. And then say, fill out a, a dating application. If I right click here and say, view page source, on each of these things, notice there is no ASP4. So I typed in ASP4 first name. It's converted that to be a real HTML attribute called for first name. But then notice it's you know it's done all this stuff, changed the type to text, data, data value to true, data value required, uh, the first name is required. It's putting in all this information, name, value, and it did all of that by me just typing in that ASP4. It's doing it all automatically based on what the model is telling it to do. And so um, it's getting that information from the model and you don't have to type any of it in. It's doing it all automatically for you by virtue of the fact that you have that ASP4 um, attribute in there. Pretty cool, huh? And so we've got the, the model is bound um, to this form. And when I run this app now, if I go put some data in, so go fill out an application and I say yada, Man, struggling with the old type in the day. Hello, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, well, let's just do one, two, three. Phone number, one, two, three, four, five. Um, major, English, uh, occupation, pilot. Are you a creeper stalker? Yes. Okay, so I say submit application and notice what it does. It has our original address. So here it has um, the, the website home, dating application, that's the controller, this is the action. But then it adds on a question mark. The question mark in the web address says, now here's some parameters that are gonna go along with this. Just like we pass stuff in, in parentheses, in C Sharp or other programming, this is the same idea, but we're doing it through the URL itself. And so we put on a question mark and we say, first name is equal to Yada, last name is equal to hello age is equal to one through three and so on and so forth to pass all this information along. Well, that's not what we want to do, but we can pass information back and forth across the URL if we wanted to. Instead of what we want to do is have this form be submitted. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the form tag itself and I'm going to say the method we want to do here is to post. I want to post this information, uh, from this form to the program. So form method equals post. And I can almost hear you saying, how am I gonna remember all this? It's just by doing. We just do it over and over again and then it becomes kind of second nature. And so uh, notice now, and when I go put that information in, and then I say submit application, it no longer is passing it as a parameter, parameter it's posting it. And so where is it posting it to? Well, it's post posting it to the home dating application view. And so where's that? Well, that's in the home controller. The home dating application view is right here. Now, when we access a view, when we're going into a view for the first time, the default is for it to be something called and I'm gonna put this in square brackets, HTTP get. The default is for us to get the form. We're not posting from the form, we're, we're going into the form, and so that's what we wanna do. If I want to, on an action, receive information that was posted to a form, and I don't know if this is anything like what you've done in the past, hopefully it is, but I don't know, then what we're gonna do instead is put on an HTTP post and we're going to create a method public i action result with the exact same name as the uh, action from the form so dating application actually it can be a totally different name if you want it to be but um, we just need to post to that uh, 
whatever we're posting to, it makes sense to line them up. And in here, what am I going to receive? Well, I want to receive an instance of an application. I want to receive that loaded up model that is, has the instance of the data. So I say application, and then I can call it whatever I want to. Uh, I can say this is a response. Okay, and then I can choose to do what I want to with that response. Now, in this case, what do I want to do if somebody has submitted an application? It's no good if, like when I was just running it, it just goes to a blank screen. Um, it's not going to let me run this for a second. Let me, I don't know what it's going to do. So currently, when we are running it, yeah, it's not going to let me do this. <laughs> Uh, I can comment out, by the way, in blocks by just pressing this button up here. And it will comment out in selected lines, or I can do Control-K, Control-C. So I'll comment all that out, run this again. Currently, when I submit an application, it just does nothing. Well, now it's even worse because I put the post in there, so it's trying to send it somewhere that doesn't exist yet. Um, but before, it was just, you'd click the button and then it would do nothing. It would probably make a lot more sense if I make a little view. So I'm going to add a view, a razor view empty that I will call a confirmation. Yes, I got your submission. Thank you. So I can add in this confirmation screen and go to that. And I could just say something to the effect of, um, what do we want to say? something to the effect of like uh i'll do a little h2 tag application receive application received uh, thank you and then maybe something to the effect of an h3 tag that says uh although you really ought to be thanking me for even considering going out with you. All right, something to that effect. Um, and now when they've submitted an application, we can send them to this confirmation screen. All right, so back to the home controller, we can, when we receive an application, so I can um, uncomment this by highlighting it all and whoops, not bookmarking, uncommenting. So when the form is posted, I can say return the user to the view, but the view I want to send them to is my confirmation screen. Does that make sense? So when they submit an application, I'm going to send them to confirmation, um, which is the confirmation view here. Again, I don't have to type confirmation.cshtml. It's assuming it's a cshtml page. It's trying to make life easy on us. I'm just telling it I want to send them to the confirmation view, which is in the home folder because that matches up with the home controller name. And so let's try this. When I submit an application now, go put some info in, submit application. Now it's going to jump to that different view on the post and say application received Thank you, although you really ought to be thanking me for even considering going out with you. Perfect. But what's even cooler, and can I do this in the last minute? Uh, if I come back to the running program and I hover over the response, well, I guess I need to put a stop here when they submit. Let me, let me rerun this program. This little button right here is to restart the program. And then I go fill out the information and submit the application. What's being passed in in this instance of an application is this, or yeah, the instance of the application is a response. And if I hover over this and I drop this little arrow down, it's going to be an instance of the, the application class that has all of the info that I had the user had submitted and it's sitting out there ready for me to use as an instance of an application. Okay, let's wrap up in the next video. Spencer out.